Welcome everyone, Farmer Comp here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Mill Landscape Midland. This is by, oh gosh, Dark, Dark, Dark Freak, it looks like, based on the numbers. I'm sorry, it's D4RKFRF34K. Anyhow, this is 294.74 megabytes to download for all platforms. Um, but yeah, I apologize for no videos recently. My work schedule has been crazy. I went on a little vacation, then came back to just nonstop work, and I'm going on a vacation soon again, just a little short one. Um, and before that, it's going to be nonstop work. So this is what it is, you know? But regardless of that, um, I'm doing good. So let's go ahead and jump right into this guy here. So Mill Landscape Midland says, uh, Mill Landscape Midland has 101 fields, 17 points of sale, uh, 14 purchase points for fertilizer, lime, and seeds. That is a lot. Five production sites, collectibles, and standard game growth plans. So um, that's all it says about it on there. So let's go ahead and hop into the menu real quick. Um, all the way down here. So uh, where are we at? We start somewhere, I'm assuming. Where, there we are. Oh, right next to our starting farm, it looks like, right over here. So, uh, yeah, this is the map. Looks like a really good-looking map, quite honestly. I like it a lot. Um, a new farmer mode we have. I don't think we own... No, we do own that. Okay, it's just kind of weird that it's a little very tiny field there. But field 9, field 1, field 2, and field 3. So this little kind of peripheral area here. So we'll look around uh, what we start off with here, a new farmer mode um, first in a bit. But then we'll go ahead and probably just... We'll work our way around the map. Probably hit some of this stuff and then... I don't know. Yeah, probably hit through here and then come down around here and then end up out there. That's actually probably what we'll do. Yeah, kind of do one of those kind of loops and then we'll do a flyover. Um, as we go down through here, again, standard growth calendar, nothing new there. Um, I'm, there's a lot of sell points, so I'm going to slowly scroll through these in case you're curious where things are sold at. Um, if you don't care about where they're sold at, you can just skip through this. But this is just easier than the way you used to do it in FS19 with the way FS22 is laid out. However, I do like the FS22 screen quite a bit better, but it's just so you have an idea where things are going to be able to be sold at or how many sell points are going to take certain items and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, some people care a little bit about it, so figure to go ahead and work our way through here real quick. We're almost done anyways, and then after that, we will keep going through the map tour here. Give me a drink, quick drink of coffee. And there we go. Ended out on stones. We go back over here. This is all our starting equipment. We'll take a look at it in the store. Start off with $100,000. No starting loan. We do have a sheep barn and a cow barn large to start out with. No animals yet. And there are contracts in the fields you do not own. No production starting out. And there are 12 collectibles on this map. So there we go. And again, we're right here. Oh, my game panics. It's panicking. A little bit laggy there. That was a little weird. Actually, I know what it is. It's because of the game update. So that has nothing to do with the map. It's just the game update. So uh, we might have a little bit of that on um on this map tour. Totally forgot to go flat around a map and just get all that to kind of update. But anyhow, let's take a look in the store, what we got going on for our equipment. Go down here, small tractors. We have a Case Maxim CVX 145. We also have a John Deere 7810. We also have a, oh, I can click it, Harvester Top Liner, Deutz Far Top Liner 4090H. Um, we also have a Lizard Pickup 1986. We have a Rudolph TDK 301 RP trailer. We have a header for the Deutz Far. We have a small plow, small cultivator, small power harrow, small cedar. Oh, there we go. Small uh, planter. We also have a small sprayer. Do your liquid fertilizer and herbicide. We have a small manure spreader. We have a decent sized uh, slurry spreader there and digestate spreader. We have a mowing setup here with uh, this guy here, the little F240 and the uh, KVHN GMD uh, 4411. We also have a tether. We have a windrower. We have a loading wagon. We have a front loader. Then for front loader tools, we have a bale spike and a universal bucket. We also have a header, oh, a header for our top liner. Um, Gosh, our top liners, header, yeah, I don't know, losing it. Uh, then we have a John Deere pickup 900 for weights in there. Uh, no leased items there for us. So, uh, yeah, quite a bit of equipment, quite honestly. Um, but this is our farm. So right here, this is our farm. Let's take a look around. Um, on here, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. It looks like a water tap. Probably a little guy. Yeah, right here. Here's our little water tap right here. Um, let's go over here and just open this bad boy up. There we go. Then we got ourselves a... Yeah, that little glitchiness is going to drive me crazy. Let me go ahead and just put a cut in here. I'm just going to fly around the map real quick to get it to figure, it, figure itself out. Then I'll bring you guys back in just a second. All right, we still might have the occasional issue, but I think that'll fix it. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better than it was before. We'll still occasionally have a little glitch and jump here and there. But again, it's not really anything to do with the map. It's just the game update there. So uh, we do have a sleep trigger. If I can get to it right there. There we go. Sleep trigger. Beautiful. Track parked out front there like that. We've got a nice silo here. Um, and yeah, we do have a cow barn here, which, I've, is this the automatic? No, it's not the automatic one, but yeah, you can put 80 cows in there if you'd like. Um, we also have a little slurry pit here, it looks like. Let's get this baby opened up. Big old storage area, got a lot of our equipment in here, which is nice. 
And then we got, again, front loader set up there. Got a couple of, I'm sure, I'm sure these got to be bunker styles. Yep, bunker style there. Bunker style here. Okay. Um, and then over here, we got ourselves our sheep, 25 sheep. There's our slurry spreader park there. Uh, we can open this guy up as well. Got more of our equipment. We do have a lot of equipment, quite honestly, starting out on this uh, on this map, to be completely honest. It's just quite a bit, which is okay. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I feel like if I got on here to start, I would probably end up selling maybe half the equipment off, getting some different stuff. But there you go. Grass field right there. That's one of our starting fields. And then this one right over here, field nine. And then uh, field four is a little tiny guy. Just across over over here. Yeah, right over. Yeah, there, there it is. Oh, and again, this is one of the updates. So... The field numbers are all the same, but you can see in terms of the update of the game, these are just the, oh, I can't remember what they're called. They have that special name. But yeah, every basically every purchasable area has a number associated with it. Um, so yeah, that's just something to be aware of. But all the field names are the same. So you see how, big example here, field four. But when I go to buy it, it's actually labeled as land piece nine or whatever the name of the term is. Uh, but yeah, if you want to know more about that, go <laughs> watch DJ Goham's videos. He talks a little bit more about it. Uh, but anyhow, okay, let's go ahead and drive around this map. Take a look at some more stuff on it. I think that'll be good. And now, in terms of where we want to go, I think we'll take a left. We'll take a look at this stuff here. Excuse me, take a look at this stuff here. Come down here. Take a look at this through here. And then I think we will... Is that just a... Yeah, it's a biogas plant there. I'm assuming if you purchase that, it'll probably show up for you. But, uh... Oh, Farmland 53. That's what it's called. That's right. Field 3, but that's Farmland 10. That's right. Okay, anyhow, regardless of that, I figured it out. <laughs> we'll take a look at all this stuff and then drive out this way. So we'll just take a left, head up a little bit, and then start taking a look at some different stuff. Drive through here. Without hitting anything. It's been a while. This is the first time I played Farm Sim in like a week. This is wild. This is just wild. It's like I forgot how to play. forgot everything about it. No, don't hit me. Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay. We head down this way. All right, on the right-hand side here, um, what we have going on, this is going to be our shops. We got our vehicle shop here, and that's really all we need to take a look at over down this way. We can flip it back around this way here and head out this way. All right, fantastic. And then on the left-hand side here, what we have is uh, the GLW cell point, a lime station, as well as the train rental point there. We continue down here on the left-hand side. Uh, what we should have is some different... Yeah, purchase points there. So you got some different purchase points for seed, like a fertilizer, fertilizer, that sort of thing. If we continue down this way, right here on the left-hand side of us, which we'll get a better view of it here in a minute, because we're going to head around here. We got some other stuff we got to take a look at. So right over here, and across this, this structure right here, left-hand side of us, down here, this is going to have the train station as well as the agraria um, cell point there and a lime station right there for us. So a few different things to note there. Now we're going to head up this way, hopefully around all this stuff here. There's a lot of good detail on this map, to be honest, as well. A lot of good looking details on here. But we're going to head around here, and there's something over here we want to take a look at. I'm just driving everywhere, of course, but pretty typical. We can get this way. I think this will take us down to it. I think it's, yeah, just right over here on the right-hand side. Get on this road right here. Yeah, so right in here, we got a few things going on. So first off, we got a bakery right here. Then I believe this is a fuel point for us. Yeah, fuel points. So we got bakery fuel point. Also, the pizzeria right back there is a cell point. Um, and then around back here, we have ourselves the corn agri cell point, a lime station, and the FSCF uh, production. It looks like it's, it's a production, which I'm a little curious about that. What are we producing there? Because there's no custom... Oh, geez, I'm hitting things. I'm assuming it's... Oh, it's going to be a grain mill is what it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be a grain mill because I didn't see... There's no custom crops or products or anything like that, but it's going to be this structure back here. All right, fantastic. Okay. Yeah, all good. Oh, geez, Louise. I can't drive, of course, but that's just another day on, day on the Farmer Cop channel there. We probably don't really need to head out here. That's just a railroad silo setup area. So what we're going to do is we're going to head out this way. Go up this way, over this way, because we haven't hit this. Then we'll loop around here, and then we're going to start working our way out and around the map that way. I think that's what we're going to do. I think that'll be a good plan for us, and let's see if I can actually get out of here. I should have gone on that side of that. Oh, there's an arc gate right there, of course. That's okay. We'll loop back around the way we came in. Try to take the correct way out, since I went in the wrong way. Oh, sign didn't have a collision. That's kind of nice, actually. Okay, yeah, we'll head around here. I'm going to grab a quick drink of coffee as we're cruising around here, taking a look at some of these fields. 
But yeah, it's been a while since I've done a map tour, and this is nice. And this is the most recent map. There's, I think there were six maps that came out. Two of the maps I did early access looks on, so I probably won't do... Well, actually, the rock crawl map I probably need to do another video on. Because I think that one has some added stuff to it. Now, right down around here, right-hand side right there, we have another um, cell point right there, liquid fertilizer. Then we have the GCHB grain elevator right in there. You can see the left side. Then we also have lime station, seed point, and a gas station. So, And a big placeable area here if you wanted to buy these. These placeable areas are for sale, so you can buy them and put stuff down if you'd like to, which is really nice. So you can kind of work some productions in as you want to. But I like the amount of just kind of different buy points around the map. Um, it did sound like a lot when I was reading, but it doesn't look like every single one of them has everything available to you. There's just a lot of different ones about the map, which I think is really nice. So you can buy those different items from uh, various places on the map, which is cool. We'll head across the bridge there. We'll already cross it, but yeah, I forgot to note it. <laughs> yeah, we just went across it. So we went across the bridge, and now we're going to head out to this side of the map. Uh, there should be some more things for us out this way. Uh, this map has a really good natural kind of uh, cadence to it, a natural feel to it. Um, yeah, it works really well, I think. So it all kind of blends in and seems pretty good. Um, and this, yeah, Mill Landscape Midland. Yeah, this has got four-star rating, which is actually pretty high for a map, which is awesome. So well done on that. And then through here, right on the left-hand side, I'm sure this is going to be like a grocery cell point over here. Or just a fuel station right here, just a fuel point. And then up further, we have seeds and the confectionery factory. And then past that, um, we need to curve back over this way a little bit. Well, actually, no, we'll keep going up around, and then we'll hit these two things last. So we'll keep just working our way around this way. I think it'll be a good plan for us. We'll go down here, because I want to take a look at the confectionery factory cell point. So yeah, it's going to be that guy in the bottom corner there. Let's head around here. Sorry, a little bit of camera collision there. Yes, yeah, this guy down here at the very bottom. Some tight roads. I will say that. Some of these areas have some very tight roads. So getting big trucks around may be really tricky. And some of you guys may not be all about that at all. But that's okay. It's still a pretty cool map. There we go. That was the confectionery factory we just drove through. Now we're going to head back out this way. Well, there's something right here. What do we got? Oh, that was that seed point. Uh, which is going to be right. You can see right behind that building right there upper right hand corner of the screen right now but there you go make sure it's clear ish yeah clear ish Let's get out of this guy's lane or he's gonna smack into us or we'll smack into him it's probably more likely but yeah we'll head down this way get another sip of coffee as we're going i'm excited to announce as well i should be going to day shift next rotation for me um so i'll be off a of graveyard which would be really nice now given that's still over two months away but it's good to look forward to it i think so I am excited about that. Cruise down this way here. We should have, looks like a dairy factory down here. Dairy production point. It looks like got a dairy production point there. And then what else do we got going on down here? Let's just make sure I'm not crazy here. Yeah, dairy production. And then we have the harbor, which this is cool. A little like river carver here. This is really cool. I actually was not expecting to see a harbor on this map, which is, this is cool. This is cool. I like that this is in here. This is actually a really cool feature. Probably one of my favorite features about this map, just because it kind of, you wouldn't expect that to be on a map like this. That's not like really a coastal map, because you just have uh, the river going down the middle there. But that's really cool that they kind of included a harbor into this, so you can ship stuff out via harbor, which is nice. But yeah, we'll head up around here, head across this way, take a look at this stuff. And actually, we'll probably just take a look at this stuff on the fly over is probably what we'll do, just in the interest of time. So this isn't a 90-hour map tour. The goal of my map tour is not to go over every single specific detail and every single thing. It's just to give you guys an overview of the map to see if it's a map you actually want to play on. So uh, that's kind of the purpose, and so you guys can get on it and see it without having to load it in and do your own things with it. Um, but yeah, now we kind of get just, yeah, again, it's a tour. It's a map tour. It's not a map review. It's a map tour. We're touring the map. We're not reviewing it or seeing if it works, every aspect of it works, and what glitches are on it. Nothing like that. We're just, we're just looking at it. We're looking through it. Oh, I meant to take that turn back there. That's okay. We'll take this one. Ooh, I'm going to go right between those poles. Oh, they don't have collisions, do they? Didn't seem like they did. Let's test it on this one. Yeah, the, the car does, but the pole does not. That's kind of nice, actually. This is a map that's very friendly for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so right here we have just the train rental station on the right-hand side. And I like that it's kind of like a big train station. And that's the train rental point in the front there. I like that. It's very creative. And if we come down here... Inside this structure here on the right-hand side, um, we have ourselves the liquid fertilizer points, a GW cell point, and the lime station in there. I can drive this way here. And they're cl or not collectible. Well, placeable area right here on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side in here, 
We have ourselves in the back a manure buy point you can see there, which is nice to have. We also have animal dealer and the animal dealer. It's the animal dealer sell point and the animal dealer itself in this little area right here. And I think that means it's time for a little bit of a flyover. So let's go ahead and get ourselves airborne in here. So in terms of everything, I think what we'll do is we'll work our way around the edge of the map, kind of backwards. So actually, no, we'll, keep, we'll go around the way we haven't come yet. We'll do a, a clockwise kind of circle here, and then we'll kind of work our way into the center. So let's head this way. So yeah, some good forestry up here, it looks like. Yeah, good forestry. Train works its way around that way, which is nice. A lot of good fields out here. There's another placeable area there. Uh, is this the BGA right here? No, this is not. It doesn't look like it is the BGA. It has some stuff down there on it. Looks like actually, it looks like it should be a BGA. How much is that to buy? That's eighty-two thousand. Let's buy that. Uh, okay, yeah. So it does have a BGA, but there's also one down here. That's kind of cool, actually. There's multiple BGAs on here, which is really nice, especially if you're working on multiplayer. Uh, but there you go, carpentry uh, point down there, and this looks really nice. Look at that. That's cool. How the rocks all. That looks really cool, actually. I really like that. Uh, coming back down through here. Decorativeness and some fields. Bridge across the railroad there. Um, this guy right here, again, we have... Um, this has a few different things. It's kind of our FC, FSCF, which I'm sure is going to be our grain point. But you got different productions down there and cell points. Head across over here. Again, we got more production cell points. Uh, I believe a fuel station right there. Don't we have that as well? Yes, we do. So uh, fuel point, cell points, that sort of thing through there. Um, the edge of the map actually looks pretty decent. I like it quite a bit. I actually think they blended it pretty well. Um, a little grain mill right there, a little windmill. Sorry, not a windmill. Or not a grain mill, a windmill. Um, we got our sawmill point here, which we didn't take a look at. And then again, I'll see like this. That's the confectionery factory right here. If we drive up this way, or fly up this way, we're not driving anymore. We got the harbor, which I love this little harbor concept here. Especially the ships moving all the way down it. I think that really adds a good amount of life to the harbor. I'm not sure where they're going down there because it just kind of abruptly ends, but no, I'm just messing there. They're doing good. And that ship's actually bigger than those ones, which is interesting. I like that. Okay, cool. We got the train rental points, some more production, stuff like that. And that's where we headed around. So we drop back this way. We have our main farm set up down here. You can see our bunker silos, our sheds, all that good stuff. That field, that field, and then that little field right there we own. And then up here we have another BGA. So BGA1 is over, oh shoot, right over there. This is BGA2 or however you want to look at it. And then right here, we didn't take a look at... Yeah, we didn't take a look at this little area right here, I don't think. Yeah, because it's just a, a train point there. And as we cut, cut across this way, right over here to this guy. Oh, we didn't take a look at this either, but this is just the MEG uh, cell point and then seeds and manure buy points there. And then further up, we have the lumber mill right there. But that is... In essence, the map, that is it right there, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.